at the most holy cross of our Savior, we bow in honor and sing our praise. We praise your suffering and all your torments, for it was by them you saved us all. We praise your suffering and all your torments, for it was by them you saved us all. At the most holy cross of our Savior, now and forever we bow our head. In your great mercy you poured out your life, saving all sinners with such great love. In your great mercy you poured out your life, saving all sinners with such great love. At the most holy cross of our Savior, we bow in honor and sing our praise. We praise your suffering and all your torments, for it was by them you saved us all. We praise your suffering and all your torments, for it was by them you saved us all. At the most holy cross of our Savior, now and forever we bow our head. In your great mercy you poured out your life, saving all sinners with such great love. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from our high and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Churches of God. And for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kerr, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Mary, and for her blessed memory, and that her every transgression voluntary 
and in voluntary be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she may stand uncondemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that her soul be committed to the place of light and life, where all the saints in just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of her tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, his dual glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine have upon us and have mercy, mercy on us. O Son of God, God, risen from the dead, save, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Lord, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being immortal, deign for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became and without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom be tender. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O oh, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. The stone was sealed by the Jews. Soldiers guarded your most pure body. 
But you, O oh Savior, arose on the third day, granting life to the world. Therefore the heavenly powers acclaimed you, O oh giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O oh Christ. Glory to your kingdom. Glory to your salvation. You alone love us all. In you, O Mother, the divine image was, was strictly preserved. Taking up your cross, you follow Christ. You taught us by example how to spurn the flesh, for it passes away, and how to care for the soul which is immortal. Therefore, O Venerable Mary, your soul rejoices with the angels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Once you were filled with all kinds of heritage, but today, through repentance, you have shown yourself to be a bride of Christ, yearning for the angelic life. You crush the devils with the weapon of the cross. Therefore, O oh glorious Mary, you became a bride in the King. Done. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. May your mercy be upon us, who have placed our hope in you. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous ones, Praise from the upright is fitting. God is wondrous in his saints, the God of Israel, the God of Israel. 
wisdom. May reading from the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when Christ came as high priest of the good things which have come to be, he entered once and for all into the sanctuary, passing through the great and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to his creation. He entered not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, and achieved eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls, and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes, can sanctify those who are defiled, so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself up unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God? Brethren, before faith came, we were under the constraint of the law, walked in until that faith that was coming should be revealed. In other words, the law was our monitor until Christ came to bring about our justification through faith. But now that faith is here, we are no longer in the monitor's charge. Each one of you is a son of God because of your faith in Christ Jesus. All of you who have been baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with him. There does not exist among you Jew or Greek, slave or free, male or female. All are one in Christ Jesus. Furthermore, if you belong to Christ, you are the descendants of Abraham, which means you inherit all that was promised. Brethren, as long as a designated heir is not of age, his condition is no different from that of a slave, even though he is named master of all his possessions, for he is under the supervision of guardians and administrators until the time set by his father. In the same way, while we were not yet amazed, we were like slaves subordinated to the elements of the world. But when the designated time had come, God sent forth his son born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver the law from those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Peace be to you, <clears throat> Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. Grants me vindication and subdues people under me. Alleluia. 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 He has given great victories to his king and has shown love for David his anointed and his descendants forever. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom, let us stand. And listen to the Holy Gospel, peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, taking the twelve aside once more, Jesus began to tell them what was going to happen to him. We are on our way up to Jerusalem, where the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes. They will condemn him to death and hand him over to the, to the Gentiles who will mock him and spit at him, flog him, and finally kill him. But three days later he will rise. 
Zebedee's sons, James and John, approached him. Teacher, they said, we want you to grant our request. What is it? He asked. They replied, see to it that we sit Oh, one at your right and the other at your left when you come into your glory. Jesus told them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup I shall drink or be baptized in the same bath of pain as I? We can, they told him. Jesus said in response, From the cup I drink, of you shall drink the bath I am immersed you shall in you shall share but as for sitting at my right or my left that is not mine to give it is for those to whom is it has been reserved the other then on hearing this became indignant at James and John. Jesus called them together and said to them, You know how among the Gentiles those who seem to exercise authority lord it over them. Their great ones made their importance felt. It cannot be like that with you. Anyone among you who is prized to greatness must serve to rest. Whoever wants to rank first among you must serve the deeds of all. The Son of Man has not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life in ransom for the many. At that time, the scribes and the Pharisees lead a woman forward who had been caught in adultery. They made her stand there in front of anyone, everyone. Teacher, they said to him, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses ordered such woman to be stoned. What do you have to say about the case? They were posing this question to trap him so that they could have something to accuse him of. Jesus bent down and started tracing on the ground with his finger. When they persisted in their questioning, he straightened up and said to them, Let the man among you who has no sin be the first to cast a stone at her. The second time he bent down and rode on the ground. Then the audience drifted away one by one, beginning with the elders, this left him alone with the woman who continued to stand there before him. Jesus finally stranded, stranded up and said to her, Woman, where did they all disappear to? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir? She answered, Jesus said, nor do I condemn you. You may go, but from now on, avoid this sin. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father and of the Son, <coughs> And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Isusu Christu. Slava Naveki. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. This gospel 
shows us Jesus Christ approaching to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem. The first, actually the, the first three Gospels, namely from Matthew, Mark, and Luke, describe the life of Jesus Christ, his way of life, his teachings, his works, his deeds, all the miracles he performed, all that he did around the one and only road. Jesus Christ seems to be going to Jerusalem all his life. This city is, as it were, the conclusion, or rather, the final goal, the final destination of his entire earthly life, his entire earthly journey. And today, he seems to reveal to the disciples the content of his life. He says where he is going. He said the Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of the Gentiles and they will kill him, but on the third day he will rise again. So going to Jerusalem, Christ for the third time begins to speak about the passions, the death and resurrection in Jerusalem to which he is approaching. Interestingly, however, Mark describes this trip. It was a long trip. Christ goes to Jerusalem as if ascending, all the time going uphill, because the city was on a height and his road was an upward road. His disciples follow him, but their, their understanding of the meaning of this journey is completely different. And today we hear how two apostles approach Christ and secretly say to him, they said, teacher, we want, to, we want you to grant our request. It looked like they said, you know, for probably in Jerusalem you will be a great king. We would like to be your closest ministers. We want to arrange our life with you as best as possible. So, Grant us that one may sit on your right hand and the other on your left in your kingdom. We see that, we see that those disciples do not understand at all where they are coming, going and from what Christ just told them. They did not understand anything. And then the Lord begins to speak about the cup. About, now I can say also, I will use sometimes both these words, cup and chalice. And Jesus said, can you drink the cup that I drink? And what does this word mean? The cup or chalice, the same as a cross, is a symbol of human life. If this life, if our life is filled with God, then we read about the cup overflowing with abundance, overflowing with abundance, a full cup, a full human life, and even more, a happy life. If a person lives without God, throws him out of his cup, then sometimes we hear about the cup of God's wrath, about the cup of suffering, which such a person must drink to the end. But Christ speaks of his cup, the cup of his life, which he will drink 
to the end in Jerusalem, which he will give to his disciples on the eve of his death during the Last Supper, what he will give to his disciples during the Last Supper, saying, and we know these words very well because we can hear them all the time, almost every day. He said, drink from it, everyone. This is my cup of my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness or for the remission of sins. The cup that Christ wants to give to his disciples is the cup of his own life. And the one who drinks from the cup, from that chalice of Christ, begins to live his earthly life together with him, together, together with God, together with Jesus Christ. And moreover, going over the content of Christ's life. In the Gospel of Mark today, Jesus foretells his death and resurrection to his disciples. He explains to them that he will be betrayed, condemned, mocked, spat upon, plunged, and ultimately killed, but will rise again after three days. This passage highlights Jesus' willingness to endure suffering and death for the salvation of humanity. Moreover, Jesus uses this opportunity to teach his disciples about servant, servant leadership. Servant leadership. He emphasized that true greatness comes from serving others rather than seeking power and authority. He sets an example by stating that even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Divine Liturgy, at which we are gathered today together, in this moment, Christ will come as every time. So that, on the one hand, he will take upon himself the burdens of our lives and therefore serve us. And on the other hand, let us be partakers of the mystery of body and blood, his cup, his chalice, his life, which will give us eternal life. Next Sunday, already coming Sunday, and we, and we can see once again, once more, that time just fly by because it looked like just a couple weeks ago we started Great Lent and it's already fifth week, fifth Sunday, then next Sunday, Palm Sunday, and then Holy Weekend, that's it. And our uh, journey coming to the end, our, at least our, this uh, Easter journey, this land journey, and next Sunday we will see Christ solemnly entering Jerusalem as a king with his disciples. So let's prepare for, the, for that holiday, for the Lord's Passover, for the Lord's Easter, really deeply rethinking the way we as Christians live our lives the time of Great Land, which is coming to an end, is the time when we are called to begin the sacraments of confession and Holy Communion. When the Church especially calls us to drink the power of the eternal life of Christ from His cup, from His chalice. Let the call of Christ, which today sounds to each of us, be truly a deposit of the fact that when we drink to the end all that Christ wants to give us, then we will 
really sit on the right and left of him, and of course not, not in the earthly kingdom, but in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome. And for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await our great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all. Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the Father's servant of God, Mary, and that her every transgression wandering and wandering be forgiven. Lord, have and mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God commit her soul to the place and the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Let us beseech Christ, the immortal King and our God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, of spirits and of all flesh and trampled dead, and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant Mary, in a place of light, joy and peace where there is no pain, sorrow, nor mourning, as a good and loving God, for your sin committed by her in word or thought. Since there is no one who lives and does not sin, you will honor without sin your justice, eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant Mary, and we give glory to you with your eternal Father, and your holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the Christ holy him to the life creating trinity now shall
Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kirk, the entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith always now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by an Us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, who alone are holy and receive a sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Accept also the prayer of us sinners. Bring us to your holy altar, enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on these gifts here present, and on all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to Spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Son of God, God the, the only begotten. begotten. 
Born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was was incarnate incarnate from the the Holy Holy Spirit Spirit and Virgin Virgin Mary, and became became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the Scriptures, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. Proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to grace you, to thank you, to worship in every place of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring gloves on their wings, singing, Shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled. So loving and kind, Master, and say, Holy, and holy, you are your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy, and holy, and magnificent is your glory. 
You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, the two chalice of their supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering therefore this saving command, and all that has come to pass on our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer to you the spiritual and bloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this gift lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this shell is the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you, not the judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection and faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. In you, O woman, full of grace, all creation rejoices. The angels in their ranks and the human race sanctify temple and rational paradise boast of virgins from whom our god took flesh and became a child while remaining god from before all time he made your womb a throne setting it apart a room more spacious than the heavens in you a woman full of, of grace all creation rejoices mm -hmm. Lord to you. Among the first to Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, 
They seek the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you and with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and the mystical altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of all souls and bodies. Let let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the whole world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life. And for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with the good conscience of your heavenly and also mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give you thanks, invisible King, for by your immeasurable power, you have fashioned all things in the greatness of your mercy, brought all things out of existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you. For they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, makes move for the good of all to the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who sail, travel, cure those who are sick, offer these whole souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. 
Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who, who came, came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the heavens. Praise Him. in 
Approach the throne of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Praise Him, sun and moon, praise Him, shining stars. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He spoke and they were made. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. He fixed, he fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. All mountains and all hills, all fruit trees and cedars. Alleluia. 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 All earth's kings and all its peoples, earth's princes and rulers. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let them pray. The name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The splendor of his name reaches beyond 
heaven and earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mystery. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating awesome mysteries of Christ, let us mostly thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Master, Benefactor of our souls, who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glory of Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. May straight our path and firm us all in fear of you, guard our life and savor our steps. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Christ, our God, in your wisdom and power beyond understanding, you gave riches and poverty. You became poor for our sakes, so that in your poverty we might become rich. Pour out your rich mercy upon us sinners, for we are poor in good deeds and beggars for your love. Though we have been rich in sins, make us poor in everything that is evil, while revealing us to us who had been beggars and virtues to be rich in good deeds. Deliver us from the fearful judgment of the heartless rich men, and make us partakers of blessed rest in the bosom of Abraham, together with the poor man Lazarus. Do not let our defilements be for condemnation for us who have been clothed in the spiritual purple, which is the sanctification flowing from your blood, and in the mystical fine linen which is our enlightenment by the gift of baptism. Instead, make us worthy to be clothed with king, clothed like kings and priests, which dominion of our passion and purity of life, so that we may be deemed worthy of your incorruptible kingdom. 
for you are the lover of mankind and are glorified together with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness always now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. Through the prayers of his most pure mother, patroness of this holy church, through the prayers of the Saint Mary of Egypt, and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our holy Father John, Father John Christos, the Bishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and he loves us all. Amen. In blessed repose, grant the Lord the eternal rest to your departed servant, Mary, and remember her forever. The eternal memory eternal memory, blessed repose, eternal memory, Vishnaya Panya, Vishnaya Panya, Vajnei pokoj, večna ja je pamja. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters, in the bulletin for this week, we don't have an information about Lazarus Saturday, Saturday of Lazarus, and also about the blessing of palm branches. And anointing. So, but still, we have this schedule starting from March 23rd till during the till bright week. So, according to this schedule, we will have liturgy here Saturday at uh, nine at nine o'clock before liturgy from eight to eight forty-five. There will be a chance to get confession, to have a confession before liturgy. So, Saturday, till uh, Saturday, the same schedule as we had at least a few last weeks, but Saturday at 8, here is the liturgy for both parishes, for St. John's and for St. Mary's. Liturgy at 9, this is the end of the of the 40 days fast, so when we'll have liturgy of John Chrysostom, you will see, we will, I will serve in white vestments as a symbol of the resurrection. And uh, before, once again, before that liturgy, confession from eight, confession from eight to 8.45. Then Sunday, as already Palm Sunday, after the liturgy, blessing of palms, uh, palm branches and anointing, that is Mirovania. The rest of information you will find in the bulletin. Of, uh, also, I would like to remind you about Icon Workshop, what we will have uh, on August this year. 
you can call to Don Tomaszewski, you will find his cell phone number in the bulletin. And uh, some more about Pirohi, we still have enough Pirohi. So if you would like, if you would like, you can buy uh, it, you can buy the Pirohi uh, in our in, uh, kitchen. You can ask Gina Romanchik. And also, I'm not sure about kielbasa, but still, uh, nut rolls is available. So we have nut rolls for sale. And that's it for, for today. May God bless everyone, and I wish everyone a blessed day and blessed week. To all people here present, and to all our parishioners, grant the Lord many blessed years. God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed years.